Well, welcome into our one-on-one -on -one presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Really excited to be joined by Eagles wide receiver Greg Ward here. And Greg, thanks so much for joining us, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So let's get into your athletic background because uh, obviously, uh, you know, you know, everybody, when they talk about Greg Ward, they talk about former college quarterback. Is that something that still kind of sticks with you? Or are you kind of sick of talking about that now at this point? You're like, hey, guys, like I I'm an NFL receiver. Uh, what is that that goes through your mind when people keep keep bringing that topic up? I don't mind at all. I actually love talking about it. So all the questions just keep having them coming. But um, that definitely played a significant role in my life, um, especially now just playing in the NFL and have played a, um, played quarterback in the, um, college, man. It definitely helped me. Definitely helped me and Carson be on the same page as far as recognizing defenses and just having that, um, having that positive communication. So um, quarterback definitely helped me. So you played receiver for a little bit early in your career at Houston, right? And you played some in, some in high school as well. Uh, what was it like, I guess, when, uh, you know, you kind of knew, like, going to the NFL, all right, like, I'm going to be a full-time receiver. Like, I'm making the switch now. Sometimes after practice, I would go talk to some of my receivers and I'd go run, like, a, a couple routes. You know, because I already knew that I was going to transition. Gotcha. So um, I already had my mind set up, um, set up, and I was I was actually good. I was good mentally. What other sports did you play growing up? Basketball. So uh, did that help you? I guess that's one thing that I always talk about with quarterbacks is, you know, playing basketball. I almost like, were you a point guard? Were you were you were you the ball handler? Did that help you in terms of making that transition to play quarterback? I would say. Yeah. I would say definitely. Um, Receiver playing playing basketball can definitely help you as far as playing receiver as far as the the footwork the crossover it's it's the same moves whenever you're on the field. What was your uh, what was your go to? Were you were you like a jump shooter? Were you a, 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 I'm gonna, uh, I had a shot. I yeah, yeah a shot. I can I can shoot the three. Right, did you beat beat people off the dribble at all? Or you you straight up? Of course up, I can. <laughs> yeah, I, I had I had a double cross. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, is there other guys that you hoop with now on the team? No, we we used to have this little uh, goal in the in the locker room. Right. We used to shoot around, sure. just have fun. Who's uh, who's who's impressed you so much in terms of uh, their basketball? Uh, Nate Suffield, really? he can shoot. Yeah, Nate can shoot. Yeah, I know uh, a bunch of those guys. I obviously take a lot of pride in their abilities as a uh, as a basketball player. Take, take me through your career. You know, when you obviously you're in and out of the NFL, right? You had cut, gotten cut a couple times. You had talked about this. Um, when you go to the to the AAF, what was that like? What, when, and when do you feel like the light really kind of clicked for you, clicked on for you in terms of being able to play receiver? Um, I would say when I first came here, that light clicked. I knew I had a um, had the ability to play. I had a great coach. Um, he taught me a lot. Going to the AAF, I had another great coach, and uh, Keith Williams. He definitely helped me a lot on my routes. And um, my whole mindset was just stay focused. You know, don't ever uh, get discouraged, and just continue to work on my craft every single day, and just let God work. Was there a, a player or like a veteran that was here that really kind of helped you, kind of take them under their under their wing when you first got here to the NFL? Definitely. Um, Alshon embraced me. Nelly embraced me. Nelson Aguilar, he definitely embraced me. Um, Tory, Tory Smith, those guys definitely embraced me. I used to ask those guys a lot of questions every single day, and they helped me. They didn't. Um, they was never tired of me asking questions. They always looked forward to it, and they always tried to help. So whenever we went on scout team, whenever we was on practice squad running routes, they would actually come over there and and tell me, because they, they would actually watch the routes and they would tell me what I could work on. Well, there's one other interaction that I always kind of, that sticks with me when I think about you, for, especially early in your career. Your rookie year, I believe, Chris Maragos and you on special teams, I feel like you were always working personal protector behind him and he was always kind of giving you pointers in between. Uh, was that another guy that you kind of leaned on? Were there other guys in the, in the, on playing special teams? Most definitely. I remember he told me that he didn't make an active roster to his third year, I believe, in the NFL. And... He just used to talk to me about special teams because I didn't know anything about it. I never played this except for a punt return. Um, and that guy, me and him used to go against each other every single day. It didn't matter if it was in the drills or just teams just going against each other. And um, he definitely uh, helped me elevate my game and just talk to me outside of football and just talk to me about life and how I could, you know, be uh, better as, as a person. And then the last question I've got for you, in terms of playing the receiver position, is there one aspect of it that, you know, fans and media don't necessarily talk about, but, you know, you guys know inside the locker room is like, yeah, th this is an extremely part, important part of the position that not enough people discuss? Uh, I, I wouldn't just say one. Maybe, maybe the blocking aspect okay. of it. Um, not a lot of people give it credit. But um, I kind of tie that in with anything, you know, routes and blocking. It's, it's, it's all the same. You have to be good at both.
Sure. Well, Greg, thank you so much for joining us here for our 101 presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. We'll talk to you again soon, man. Thank you. I appreciate it.